I think of myself as a very, very rich woman. But I have been foolish casting my pearls for... Swine, huh? Yes, swine. And I'm thinking not only of you, but of your friend, Mr. Mitchell. He came here tonight. He dared to come here in his work clothes, to repeat slander, vicious stories he'd gotten from me while I gave him his walking papers. But then he returned. He returned with a box of roses to beg my forgiveness. He implored my forgiveness. Some things are not forgivable. Deliberate cruelty is not forgivable. It is the one unforgivable thing in my opinion and the one thing of which I have never, never been guilty. So I said to him, thank you. It was foolish of me to think that we could ever adapt ourselves to each other. Our ways of life are too different. Our backgrounds are incompatible. So farewell, my friend, and let there be no hard feelings. Was this before or after you got the telegram? Telegram? Telegram. Oh, as a matter of fact, my wire... As a matter of fact, there wasn't no wire at all. And there isn't no millionaire. I missed him come in here with roses because I know where he is. Or there is a thing with imagination and lies and deceit and tricks. And look at yourself. Take a look at yourself here in a worn-out Mardi Gras outfit. Running for 50 cents of some rag with a crazy crown on. And what kind of a queen do you think you are? You know that I've been on to you from the start, and not once did you pull the wool over this boy's eyes. You come in here, and you sprinkle a place with powder, and you spray perfume, and you stick a paper lantern over the light bulb, and lo and behold, the place is turning to Egypt. And you are the queen of the Nile, sitting on your throne, swimming down my liquor. And you know what I say? Ha ha! You hear me? Ha ha ha!